name is Nita Stackenfeld. I work at the John B. Pierce Laboratory at the Yale School of Medicine. My group works on sex hormones effects on the cardiovascular system, primarily in women. Our study investigated the effects of testosterone and estrogen on endothelial function and used cells and culture to study the mechanisms for those effects. Endothelial dysfunction is a known early marker of and probable causative factor in atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease. We tested mechanisms of endothelial dysfunction in women with androgen excess polycystic ovary syndrome, or AEPCOS. These women have risk factors for cardiovascular disease. AEPCOS is a reproductive disorder that affects approximately 10% of women. We tested the hypothesis that the androgen dominant hormonal milieu causes endothelial dysfunction by altering endothelin 1 or ET1 function. ET1 is a powerful regulatory protein released by the endothelium. We further hypothesized that estradiol would reverse the androgen effects in women with AEPCOS via improved endothelial cell and ET1 function. We used skin microdialysis to measure responses to low doses of ET1 in lean and obese women with and without PCOS using blocking agents for different ET1 receptors. We tested these women twice, once with and once without estrogen administration. Our primary findings were that endothelial dysfunction was most profound in lean women with PCOS. ET1 vasodilation in the PCOS subjects was dependent on ET1 subtype receptors, but independent of nit nitric oxide. This finding was consistent with our cell culture data, showing an androgen-induced global endothelial cell signaling defect. We also demonstrated estrogen administration improved endothelial function in lean and obese women with PCOS, likely because estrogen increased NO availability. Our findings indicate an independent and significant role for androgens in endothelial dysfunction in women with AEPCOS, and this can be improved with estrogen. Future studies will examine the impact of compromised inflammatory systems in AEPCOS, determine androgen contribution to changes in the system, and dissect molecular mechanisms responsible for impaired nitric oxide signaling in AEPCOS. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our study published in Journal of Physiology. The full paper was selected as an editor's pick in Volume 597, Issue 11. Please contact Nina Stackenfeld at nina.stackenfeld at yale.edu if you have any questions.